Welcome back to Jeff Willett's Muscle Hub, home of my weekly Q&A show and all of my YouTube video updates. Thank you for your question submissions. Keep them coming in. You guys drive the show. We've got some great questions this week, so we're going to jump right into it. Question number one comes from JFit, and this came through Twitter. It says, what's your take on all the different functional type of workouts that are very popular right now? Well, I think that it really goes back to what your fitness goals are. And you want to choose the type of exercise routine or exercise program that's really going to help you achieve those goals. So for example, if your goal is strictly body composition change, building muscle, burning fat, I think a lot of these functional type things that are very popular and faddish right now, that's not the best way to get you to that point. So from a strictly a body composition standpoint, I don't think they're the most effective way to go. If you're an athlete, if you're looking to uh, increase your agility or your endurance or um, I mean, you know, uh, balance, uh, I, I do think they have their place for sure. But again, you have to start with what's your goal. And then from your goal, pick the best workout approach and plan that's going to help you get there. And regardless of what your goal is, and even if you really prefer those type of workouts, you should still include some basic compound free weight lifts to really help build that core muscle and that core strength, regardless of what uh, program you're really following. Question two comes from Heat Nation, and this came uh, through Twitter. What do you think about running sprints on the treadmill for 16 minutes at 10, uh, 20, 10 second intervals? <clears throat> Nothing wrong with the concept. Um, my only reason why I kind of shy away from sprinting on a treadmill from a max OT cardio standpoint is because then you're, you have some other things you got to worry about as far as like balance. You don't want to you know, trip and shoot off the back. So you got some things that take a little bit away from the, just the focus and the intensity on pushing. That's why I always preferred the recumbent bike. Now you certainly can do a max OT style work on a treadmill, absolutely. But I like the recumbent bike because that way that took that whole balance uh, issue out of it. And it was just me pushing the wheel and then going for that maximal time. So that was my preference. But the reality is you could do a number of different modes of cardio and be successful as long as through those 16 minutes you are working out of your comfort zone and you are huffing and puffing the whole time. And that's gonna cause that agitation to your metabolism that you're looking to do. Question three comes from M2K and this came from YouTube. And can you suggest ways to recover quicker? The best mode of recovery is your nutritional support. So that combined with the way with max OT workouts, we like to train every body part directly only once per seven days. So you're factoring in a seven day recovery window. Then in that seven days, the way that you enhance or speed recovery, I guess, if you will, would be your nutritional support. That's why it's imperative that you follow that smart nutrition plan and you are as focused and consistent with that nutritional plan as you are with your workouts because that is the whole key to building muscle right there. Question four comes from Anibal Delgadillo and this came through YouTube. Is it ideal to lift every other day? Um, the, it's not really wrong or right, you know, if you want to split some days in between your workouts, as long as you're adhering to the max OT principles of giving every body part at least seven days in between muscle specific workouts. My preference was always, I like to do five days on and two days off. Um, I like to give that split, I like to have those two straight days. Some people like to take a day in the middle. I don't think it makes a great deal of difference one way or the other, as long as you're adhering to the max OT principles. I think that's the primary and most important thing as far as you know, sets and reps, exercise selection and volume. So if you're doing that, you think you could take some days off in the middle. Again, my preference and the, the workouts you'll see on my website, generally I go five days on and two days off. Question five comes from Thick Solid Natty, and this came through YouTube. He wants to know, why do you look so much smaller compared to when you were competing? Well, because I am. Uh, I haven't competed for over, what is it now? I'm losing, I'm getting old. Uh, over 10 years, probably 12 years. And the thing about it is at that level, I was at a, at a world-class level. I was one of the best natural bodybuilders in the world. And that took 13 years of meticulous work to get to that point in those last several years of really being on it year round. And to build that type of physique and to maintain that type of physique, you know, it, it really takes attention to detail 24 seven. So after I won my pro card and I decided to move back here and open uh, Jeff Willis Powerhouse Gym, my goals really changed physique wise. So I don't have that same attention to detail nutrition wise. I don't have that same intensity, but it's kind of by design. My goals, are, my goals are different. I'm no longer judged on the size of my biceps, nor do I really care to be. I had a wonderful career, super proud of what I did, but no, I'm not as, bigger as conditioned as I was then and I'm never going to be. But you know, it's not a whole lot different than going to a gold medal Olympic sprinter 10 years after you won the gold medal and asking them, why aren't you as fast as you were when you won the gold medal? So to me, I mean, it's kind of obvious and simple, but I guess that's the answer uh, in a nutshell. So that's this week's questions. 
Thank you guys for tuning in. Keep your questions coming. You can send them through Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. You can hashtag AskJW. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Now let's go out and execute.